Hi, I'm Elite Series Pro Billy McEgrin. I want to talk to you today about this 2014 Sabre FTD. If you want to come back here with me to the back, we'll start with what powers this boat. We have a 150 horsepower Mercury four-stroke. You can barely hear it running, and we're going to demonstrate that before we get done today. We'll talk about that later, though. I want to show you here in our, our very back box where you have your batteries, all your bilge pumps and stuff show you how easy everything is to get to. We have three batteries here. I mean, I can just reach anywhere and ac access these batteries. We have a cutoff switch that we have on all our boats. What this does is shuts all the power off to the battery. So if you have, you know, some light or something that you may be accidentally left on, if you'll cut the power off, you'll never have to worry about going to crank your boat and the battery's being dead. If you'll notice, Usually you'll see a oil jug. So nowadays with a four stroke, we don't have to have the oil jug. So that leave, leaves more space. Uh, somebody like me, I would probably store something back here. But all the switches and pumps are just extremely easy to get to. If you'll come forward with me a little bit, we'll, we'll move right here to the center boat. This is our two live wells. We have two separate live wells in this boat but they're all running off the same pumps and as with all the bass cat boats we have a divider there and that way you don't have to worry about maybe forgetting to turn the starboard or the port live well on so it's real handy your fish have no way of getting from one side to the other unless you could if you looked at the holes, if you catch a fish and put something that small in there, you don't need to be taking it to the weigh-in anyway. We'll get these closed, and if you look here, on the side here, we have one, this is a storage box on each side of this boat. They're extremely large. And we're talking about this is an 18-foot, one-inch boat. It has all the amenities of our top of the line Jaguar boat, just in a shorter package. We got this storage here, and we have another one over here for your partner. Uh, it's the same size. Put a ton of stuff in here. It's one of the really nice features on, you know, on a, on a smaller boat. One of the things we haven't talked about at all, because we were wanting to show you the whole layout of the boat is the seat here on this is a passenger seat you can you know order a f one front and back but the cool thing about this all if you remember all the old passenger seats just had a had a strap and a button that that thing could tear or rust and there's always a pain getting it open well, we have a little just a little switch this seat's completely locked down like it is I mean, you could drive 80 miles an hour down the highway and all you have to do is simply press this button and slide it right up. It locks in place and there you go. You have your seat and you get ready to go. Same thing, just simply press the button and you lock back. And this is on all the all of our set down seats at Bascat are like this. You know, just one more thing to try to make it more simple for you, the user. And just make it look better in my opinion. If you notice I'm stepping here on the back of this seat and if you can see that it's this seat's the back of this seat's coated with a slip resistant rubber so when you move forward or backwards in your boat you won't slip and fall. Uh, this is actually one of a couple options you have. This is a third seat and it folds up and there you have another seat for extra rider we also have a box that's basically just a carpeted box with a little lid with a day box type storage on top but this is a, a really neat feature having an extra seat if you look with me here look at all the room i mean i'm a fairly tall guy and i have to really stretch out to to get my feet to the deck and this is also you know, where we would put our fishing partners' rods and reels. We have five holes to put the butt end of the rods in. You have this 
rubber strap here. We can lay them down, tie them down and make sure they don't fall out while we're running down the water. Here to my left, you got the gas cap. This is a little different from most of the boats we have. A lot of our boats, we have the fuel in the back. This particular boat, we have it under the seat. We have a 33 gallon tank here. So with this four stroke Mercury, you can, you can go as far as you want to go in a day's time on that amount of fuel. Uh, moving forward, the console. Uh, uh, this has room for up to eight inch screen in dash. Uh, you see your, we have your pump in and pump out. It's, all these boats have a security system alarm on them. So at night, if you wanna you know, set your alarm on, anybody that tampers with any compartment, they'll set the alarm off. It's a really great feature to have. You have a cleat on each side and they, they fold out and fold back in real nicely so they're out of the way. Okay. I want you guys at home to listen to this. We're gonna crank this four stroke motor and just listen to how quiet it is. That thing cranks up, you can barely hear it going. We're idling along here. I'm gonna say, if you couldn't hear the waves splashing against the boat, we could sneak up on almost anybody. It's unbelievable how quiet the four-stroke motors are nowadays. Moving forward here, we have our ice chest, which is a also serves as a step up to the front deck. And this is a two part type ice chest. We have an ice chest here on the right. We have it full of stuff, kind of like my boat at home. But this will haul all the water or, or drinks you could drink, Gatorades, that you need for a day out on the water. The little side compartment. This one don't have a drain. This is actually like a little day box. You know, if you want to put your snacks, a sandwich, even fishing tackle. It's just a handy little compartment there to easily accessible. Like I say, this is also a step up. And we can step up here and get up on the front deck. If you'll come with me on the very front here, We've got our motor guide trolling motor. Just a tip for you guys back home. If you ever have one, these are made to pull back on, but if you're lazy like me, you can step on the knob and pull up. Allow your trolling motor to slide down with these. If you'll look with me up here, we, we have a tilt, uh, up and down tilt for the big motor. So if you get in shallow water and you don't want to walk all the way back, you can just do it right here with your foot. We also have our navigational lights up here. So if you're out fishing at night or early in the morning, you can turn those on and off right here in the front. As with all Bass Cat boats, we have the recessed foot pedal, which uh, any, anybody using a foot-controlled trolling motor knows that standing with one foot race all day is going to really wear you out. This one you don't have to. We got it recessed, it's straight level with the floor. This boat also has come standard with a, a Lawrence or Hummingbird five inch screen up here. I mean, you could change and put whatever you want, but, but standard, those are very good graphs. Coming back a little bit, I, this is a really unique feature we need to look at. If you can see my foot, this the deck is cut out right here. And what that's for is to, to let your reels recess a little bit. I don't know if you've ever fished a lot like I have. You've probably been running down the lake and had the top of your trolling motor hit one of your reel handles and build, bend it. Well, this here allows your reels to set down deeper in the boat and to avoid that from happening. 
it also really works well to keep from kicking one in uh, you know if this was level and you know, this is about another foot it'd be a, a lot easier to kick a rod in this is a really neat feature I think you'll start seeing in a lot of boats around get this strap back move on back we got each side has has a rod box plenty of room we have a nine rod rod holder in this one you slide into your rods in these plastic tubes up here you put your handles back here and if if you look we have this little rubber strap here and that will actually raise up and you slide your into your rod and let it down that what that does it holds your rods in place and when you are running in rough water or something where they bounce around it'll keep them from falling out and tangling all up the other side is just just a box it doesn't have the rod organizer i mean that's an option an upgrade you can use very few people need more room than nine or ten rods so this could be used as a storage uh I mean, you can, like I say, add the other rod organizer. Just whatever you want to do with it. They're extremely large compartments for the for an 18-foot boat. Let's shut these back. Then we'll get here in the center. You know, this is the front of two compartments. Look in there; there's plenty of room. I mean, you can see how far my arm goes down right there I'm hitting the bottom uh, it's a dry storage you know you can keep your tackle clothes life jackets just anything you want to use or would have out in a day of boating or fishing directly behind it we have another box uh, same size you know same amount of space but a lot of storage uh, all the boxes on this boat are lighted and it's in the daytime now we really can't make them light up for you each one of them is lighted and very roomy like i say this is a 18 foot one inch boat a 93 inch beam but you have all the luxuries of our top of the line jaguar i mean from the from the console with all the everything you have here on the dash all the compartments this boat's just built like i say like the, the, as fine a boat as you ever get in and it's 18 foot uh, not everybody wants a 20 21 foot boat this one will fit in a smaller garage uh, it's very maneuverable and saying that i mean you can move it around a lot easier than you can a really large boat so I encourage everybody to take a look at this boat. You can find out more about it on Bass Cat's website, which is basscat.com, real simple. Or go by one of your local dealers and check them out.